Hey guys, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. So a little update on our 2019-20 Snowbird trip here. Uh, last I left you, we were in Death Valley and we spent a whole week in Death Valley and I put out quite a few videos. I'll link to the playlist if you haven't seen them yet. But anyway, we left that Death Valley and we're on our way down a little more south and west into Arizona, but we needed a place to stop over. So this place here at Prim is a casino lot. So we pulled into there, um, left Death Valley, got some groceries, pulled into Prim. And Prim is a just a complex on the California-Nevada border. It's in Nevada and there's three big casinos in there. And we overnighted. They have a, a lot we can overnight in for free right here at Buffalo Bills. Normally, you, you overnight in this big, huge lot back here, but the whole casino was closed down for renovation, so we snuck into this one. I saw a few other RVs in there. So I have a little video footage from there to show you. Then next, we uh, left Prim the next day, and we were headed over to Bullhead City, Laughlin area, a place called Davis Camp County Park. We wanted to check that out. We had seen it last year when we were camped at the Riverside Casino. We had saw there was some nice dry camping down there. But along the way, we stopped between uh, Interstate 15 to Searchlight. They call it the Joshua Tree Highway. So we stopped in there and uh, checked out the Joshua trees, and Ann wanted to, to give her drone a try. Unfortunately, it was a little too windy, so she couldn't really do much there. But uh, I'll give you a little footage from on the ground there. And then over at uh, Davis Camp, here we are right on the Colorado River, and this is Davis Camp here. And you can see, you can dry camp down in here or way down this end, there's some dry camping spots. Um, there's also a full RV park up here, but we dry camped right on this little patch of dirt down here. Um, it was a it was a nice spot, a little windy um, when we were there, but nice views over to the casino, and hardly anybody was there, so I got some footage from the ground there. And then after we left that, we did a pretty long drive, it headed straight down 95, down through Quartzsite, turned onto 10. And we got over to a favorite of ours, Saddle Mountain BLM Dispersed Camping Area. And that's right here. And I have a fair amount of footage from there. Um, I'll show you us driving in. We actually, on the way, there's a little dip we have to go through. So I got some footage from in the cab going through that. So you can see how twisted the, the fifth wheel gets. But we got into a really nice spot right close to the mountain. And I did a hike right up into one of these uh, gullies or washes right up to the top and then give you a view over it was quite pretty. So anyway, let's get to it. Hey guys, welcome to Prim, Nevada. Basically, it's just three or four casinos right on the California-Nevada border on Interstate 15. And uh, we had a free overnight in the casino parking lot. We left Death Valley yesterday and we're on our way to Laughlin, Nevada for a few days. I want to check out a new campsite there. So this was a good overnight stop for us. Stayed here a few times. It's just a nice place to spend the night when you're traveling, fuel up at the fuel stations, and head on our way. I just thought I'd show you around a bit. Got Whiskey's Pete over there, and then there's another casino over that way. I'm not really sure what that one is. And then this one is uh, Buffalo Bills or something, but it's actually closed right now. They're renovating the property. Usually the RVs park on the other side of this building on a big lot but it's all closed up right now so we came into this lot and a few other RVs came in. 
But we're headed to Laughlin, a place called Davis Camp, so stay tuned. So we stopped along the Joshua Tree Highway between Prim and Searchlight. Anne wants to test out her uh, new little Mavic Mini, DJI, DJI, DJI Mavic Mini drone she got herself this year. So I thought I'd just stop and give you a view. It's Joshua trees are really thick along here. Over this way, there's Joshua Tree uh, National Wilderness Area, I guess. There's a road in over there, and you can go hiking off into the Joshua Trees. I think they're thicker than in Joshua Tree National Park. Here's our dry camping spot at Davis Camp. It's on the Bullhead City side of the Colorado River across from Laughlin, right near the Davis Dam. So we picked this spot, a little gravel area off to the side. 20 bucks a night and it's right on the river which is nice. Get to watch the ducks and uh, birds and stuff like that go by. There's also over this way a big paved area that you can also dry camp on and you get a shelter and a picnic table and a barbecue stand. You can see one of the casinos over there. We stayed at that last year in their RV park. I think there was a deal $99 a night or $99 for the week it was. But you're quite crammed together over there. Kind of prefer it over here. Especially this time of year, there's really nobody here. It's not a weekend. It's just maybe a few RVs. I'll just turn around this way and give you a shot up to the main hookup area. There is an RV parks part of this uh, system up here. Um, I think they're around 35 a night or something like that. I think it's packed because I th think their monthly rate was about 475. To me, it looks like a lot of people, you know, kind of living in there, or there's snowbirds that come down and spend uh, many months down here. And there also is another uh, section north end, which is sort of the same as this, where you can dry camp on. But overall, it's a pretty spot. We enjoyed our time here. One drawback was the wind. It was, we've been here three nights, and pretty well every day in the afternoon, the wind's kicked up. So I find this, this Laughlin Bullhead City area is quite windy, from my experience. It's actually really uh, nice at night. This casino lights up over here and makes a really nice reflection on the water. The water level changes quite a bit as the dam releases. The water was way up here 
and then I guess they, they hold back water and the river level changes. They have a dump station here, pay for camp and it's free to use. I'm sure there's some kind of fee if you want to just come in and use the dump station. Nice big area and over there there's a fresh potable water for a fill. So we'll dump and we'll move on to the next place. I think I can go over and maybe hit uh, Saddle Mountain for a few days. to Saddle Mountain. We're camped here for three nights as we wait to go on to another state park. Came here last year and really enjoyed it and the year before. I seem to always come back to this place. It's nice and quiet, nice hiking, really beautiful scenery but this time I can't believe how green everything is. I guess Arizona's had quite a bit of uh, rain in the last while and she just greened this desert right up. So I thought it's uh, kind of getting near sunset. I'm going to take a little walk up into one of the canyons, kind of hike up here and maybe give you a view from up here. Looks really pretty up here. All the ocotillos seem to be leafed out. Really green. Just can't believe it. Did I say how green it was? come here in prior years and there's green here and there but nothing like this there's actually grass everywhere let's show you where we're camped we traveled in quite far this time one of the most uh, close-in campsites to the mountain right down here there's quite a few rigs so we kept going and going we got a nice spot next to a wash down there. There we are. See Anne is down there. She's uh, playing with her new drone. She got herself a Mavic, DJI Mavic Mini. Really tiny little drone. Something she can do instead of hiking around. So maybe you'll get to see some of that footage once in a while. Anyway, I'll continue up. Yeah, this is lush. All kinds of plants have sprung to life. Won't be long, I guess, before there's quite a few flowers up here. This one just starting. Got a little more height, a little more height. Nice view, nice and clear today. Get the lungs pumping again. It's 
See if I can get up on top of this saddle here. Getting there, getting there. So I had to come over into the cool side and rest a bit. Even though it's only in the mid 60s, it's kind of hot in the sun. You can see some of the Akotillos are getting little red flowers on the end. They don't wait, they, they flower whenever it's a good time for them. Some down there. I don't know if the camera can see into the shade here, but it's quite pretty with all the saguaros going up this uh, steep wall of this hill here. This butte, I guess it's called. Let's zoom down and see how Anne's doing. You can see the washes by the green stripes of vegetation. Yeah, looks like she's still playing around with it. fun toy for her. Gonna make it, gonna make it. There we are. Hey Mr. Saguaro. Boy Ray, I'm 150 years old. Oh wow, look at that. That's nice. There's a big canyon back here. Nice time of day to come hiking. Lots of shadows. Teddy bear Choi is up here. There we are, there's the reward. Beautiful view down below the campsites. So it looks like there's probably about maybe 30 RVs here. Spread out on the washes below. And way off in the distance, all the trucks on Interstate 10, bringing all the good boys and girls their presents. Santa's elves. <laughs> Hummer. Doing what it naturally does. Somewhere there's a trail to the top of this thing. I think it starts over there by that knoll. You park in a parking lot. I think you wind your way up this ridge all the way to the top. I don't think I'd do that myself. I don't like to go too far when I'm hiking by myself. At least Anne knows where I am. She can send up the drone. <laughs> well, here's the view on the other side. Nice. Looking towards the west. Nice hiking on this side down in the valley there. You can hike right around the, the mountain. Here's the big butte. I guess this is what makes the horn of the saddle. You're looking from a long distance away. And this wash. So I think I'm gonna scramble back down this wash. I'd like to go back down in the shade. Beautiful liking covered rock. What 
a beautiful hike. I thought there might be a lot of flies, but I haven't had any flies on my hike. But uh, one downside of camping here is there can be a lot of flies. Seem they like to hang around the RV and get in the RV because it comes from all the farming that's not too far away. I think they have manure piles and stuff like that that the flies hatch, especially after some rain. So it's probably going to get worse before it gets better. But up here hiking, I haven't been bothered by anything. <laughs> nice and calm. What's the day? December 13th, Friday the 13th. Probably mid 60s, maybe even close to 70 right now. Really warm in the sun. Time to get back to the rig. It's almost happy hour. Mm -hmm.